midterm, midterm. Oh my God. Continue. Ahí entró la profe. Ah, very nice, very yeah. nice. <laughs> 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 Good night, teacher. Hi, how was your weekend? Um, fine. Fine, let's say fine. Fine, fine. We did a chore in my house. Oh, you were in your house? Yes. Did you do anything interesting at home? Uh, no. Just stay at home. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good. And the rest of you? Well, uh, in my case, uh, I went to the cemetery of Nehapa to bury my my mother, my second mother, and then um, I wanted to forget everything, and I began studying the the platform. And I said by myself, I have to finish this platform today. And right. I did it. <laughs> Congrats. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. That's the way. Great. And the rest of you? Well, I said that most of you are okay with the platform. Um, so we're going to start see that most of you are here. Uh, we're going to finish with the last topic of the section number one and then we go over section number two, right? So um, I already sent the presentation. Yes. Okay, so we're going to begin. Okay, so uh, let me share this. Okay. All right. Okay, this is basically where we stop the last class. Okay. Mm, questions with how and short answers. Um, we have the video, but we're going to go over these questions with how and short answers. Um, in this particular topic, we are using the questions to ask frequency, we use how often, right? Um, then if you want to know um, about time, we use how long, right? Or the duration or time, we use how long. Now, how well and how good is, um, when we want to talk about the way that we do some things, right? Uh, for example, how well do you play tennis? How good are you at the sport? Okay, that is in order to discuss how good or how well do we do mm, specific things. Like for example, in this case, how well do you play tennis? How good are you at the sport? Uh, I know that you already finished with this topic in the platform. I guess that you saw the video. I would like to ask you, how do you feel with this topic? Do you have any question about this? Yes, I have a question. Okay, Roberto. Uh, is, is there any difference between how well and how good? No, there is no difference. You can use any of them and it doesn't make any difference. Okay, it's the same. It's the same, but um, in this case, when we use, um, it, it will depend, right? Because in here you see the auxiliar do, right? And he use, you use the bird B, okay? So that can be the difference use the bird B and in this we are using the simple present with another so that can be the difference when we use uh, verb B uh, use how good 
Yes, it's preferable. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yeah. Um, I, I saw that, that the difference was that well is an adverb and good is an adjective. That, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And that's why, that's why we use, uh, with well, we use do and with good, we, we use are. Mm -hmm. maybe oh, okay. yes that is the difference with well so the meaning is the same but we well we use do and we could we use are yeah. la, la, el significado es lo mismo no cambia pero mm -hmm. si usamos well vamos a usar el auxiliar do si usamos good vamos a usar el verbo to be am is or are yes mm -hmm. and um, well this is the way that we answer it esta yo sé que pues no hay problema con esto, pero en esta me gustaría que así eh, mm -hmm. vayamos un poquito más cuando estamos hablando de qué tan bien hacemos algo o en qué somos mm -hmm. buenos. Siempre va una preposición. Por ejemplo, um, si vamos a usar un verbo después, como si yo quiero decir soy buena cocinando. Um, so we use the preposition at. I am good at... Y como después, si vamos a usar un verbo después de una preposición, ese verbo tiene que llevar ing. Yes, yes. Entonces digo, I am good at cooking. Right? Um, yes. uh, can you give me another example, Roberto Adonai, using good at? Uh, I am good at playing soccer. Okay, excellent. I am good at playing soccer. Marjorie? I am good at baking. All right, excellent. I am good at baking. Excellent. Um, mm. Any volunteer? I am good in, in swimming. I am good in swimming. No? At Art. swimming. Uh -huh. At swimming. At swimming. At swimming. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y cuando, por ejemplo, estamos de, decimos, estoy interesado en tal cosa, entonces usamos la preposición in. Y siempre, si usamos un verbo después de la preposición, va a llevar ing. Uh, so, if I say, I am interested in reading a new book, right? Estoy interesado en leer un nuevo libro. I'm interested in reading a new book. Okay. So that's what I wanted to mention about this um, topic. Now, to complete these questions, este ejercicio es lo que tiene básicamente similar al de la plataforma, right? Complete these questions and then practice with a partner. Let's complete these questions and then we're going to practice. I'll give you a couple of minutes so you can complete them in your notebook. Okay. Have you finished? Yes. Yes. Okay, so question number one, a volunteer? Uh, how, how good are you at volleyball? 
How okay. good are you? Excellent. How good are you at volleyball? Mm -hmm. uh, number two, volunteer. How long do you spend online? Okay, excellent. How long do you spend online? Yes. Excellent. Uh, number three. How often do you play chess? How often do you play chess? Okay, very good. Excellent. And number four? How well do you swim? Okay. How well do you swim? Excellent. So I see that you did a very nice job with this. So we are going to begin the section number two. Um, I am sure that you checked that already. Am I correct? Okay, good. <laughs> so we're going to begin and what is this section about? What is section two about? Had a great time. Ah, yes, that is the topic of section number two. We had a great time. Mm -hmm. So we are going to be talking about um, past events. Okay. So let's begin with the conversation. Uh, I think I'm not sharing my screen. I'm going to share right now. I don't know if this is this. Okay. Now, can you see my screen? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Okay, yes. let us watch the first video. That's the conversation. I'm going to share my audio. All right. Hi to all. Welcome to Section 7. We had a great time. In this session, participants will listen to a conversation between two people and the activities they did last weekend. This conversation will walk us through activities that took place in the past. I really need you to concentrate as we'll begin to study simple past. As you listen to the conversation, write down all the verbs in the past you can identify. Did you do anything special? So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? <clears throat> oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. That sounds like fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Our Spanish test is today? I forgot all about that. Don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. So, questions about the conversation? What's the meaning of downtown? Downtown. Classmates, what is the meaning of downtown? It's like a centro de San Salvador. Centro de la ciudad? Yeah, mm -hmm. that's a city center. Thanks. City center? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Um, any other question? Yes. Teacher, <coughs> what is the meaning of looking? I'm sorry. Looking. Did you oh. go to Lucas? 
Oh, mm-hmm. that's the name of a place. Lucky's. Ah, Lucky's. Uh huh. That is the name of a place. It's like, yeah. for example, um, I, I don't know, but uh, it referring to a place. Um, she is saying that she went to a karaoke bar. Ah, how fun did you go to Lucky's? Like, um, uh, maybe that is the most famous karaoke bar. And she said, uh-huh. no, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So that's the name of, of uh, like, guessing. For example, if you say, um, I ask you, what did you do on the weekend? Ah, I went uh, to eat pizza with my family. And I say, did you go to Pizza Hut? And you say, no, we went to Bambino's Pizza or something like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's nice. Mm-hmm. As people here in San Salvador says, um, Neptunos. <laughs> ah, <laughs> Neptunos, <laughs> for example. <laughs> yes. Or Cadejos, or Cadejos, please. Ah, uh, oh, I don't know where Cadejos is. <laughs> uh, it's a nice place, but it's kind of expensive. <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, it's, it's like in, um, is it in the Esquina or Santa Rosa Mall? Uh, Santa Rosa. No, okay, yeah. I, I got confused with those two molds. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that that is the Calejo. But if if you well, I I prefer La Calaca. I love La Calaca. <laughs> La Calaca, very good. That's Mexican food. Yeah, and and it's cheaper than El Calejo. Okay, so. Let us practice this conversation in groups as there are no more questions, I guess. So, I have a question. Yes, Roberto. Uh, when Rick said, I just stayed home, why he said uh, stay home and no stay at home? Uh, Por qué dice solo stay home y no stay at home? Uh, you can use both. Uh, there are some, um, in some specific scenarios, you can omit that kind of uh, preposition. It's the same as that. A veces se pueden omitir y no, no afecta en las oraciones. Mm-hmm. Es lo mismo que pasa con that. Vamos a, a, a verlo más adelante. But it doesn't hurt. You can use add or you can omit it, and that's no problem. Okay, so I'm going to create the section group, and we're going to practice this conversation. Uh, let's click here and create the section room. Terraform key. Okay, let's go ahead and practice. Okay. Mm. Do you want me to share the screen? Yes, please. Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Who start? Uh, okay. Let's begin. Uh, um, solo déjame ver. Let me see that. Uh, uh, Jessica name? and Natalia, uh, do you want uh, to start? start? Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, let's go. Uh, Jessica Hi. is Rick and Natalia is Matt. Perfect. Okay. okay.
Jessica is free. Natalia. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. So what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun. Did you go to Loki's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Oh, test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Okay, that's good. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Uh, I am Rick and Maria Susana, you are May. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. let's begin. Uh, yeah. So what did you last weekend make? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun. Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to the new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and study for today's Spanish test. Or this is today? I forgot about that. Oh, don't worry. You always get an A. Okay. Okay. Very nice. Uh, Thank you, okay. Miss. Yeah, Thank you're you. doing a great, great job. You can repeat it one more time and try to use yes. more intonation. That's okay. Very good. Okay. 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 Uh, let's begin, Maria Susana, and and uh, I. I be the, Rick. Change the role. Okay. And I am. Uh, and I am Meg. Okay. Okay. I start. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends on Saturday. How fun! Did you go to Loki's? No, we didn't. We went to that new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't uh, go anywhere all weekend. I just stay home and I study for today's Spanish test. Our test is today? I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Very, very good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Natalie, Hola. Natalie and me. Natalie, you are Rick and I am Meg. Okay. Okay. We start. So what did you do last week, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar and sang with, with some friends on Saturday. How fun. Did you go to look it? No, we didn't. We went to the new place downtown. How about you? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stay home and study for today's Spanish test. Oh, test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry, you always get an A. Don't worry. Excellent. <laughs> Very nice. Nice job. Excellent. Okay, okay let's continue. We have time. Uh, Jessica, you are read. And I am Meg. Okay. Uh, okay. Start. Okay. So, what did you do last weekend, Meg? Oh, I had a great time. I went to a karaoke bar. Uh, I uh, I went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friend on Saturday. How fun! Did you go to Lucky's? No, we didn't. We went to that new play downtown. How about you? Did you go? Did you go anywhere? No, I didn't go anywhere all weekend. I just stayed home and studied for today's Spanish test. Oh, test is today. I forgot about that. Don't worry. You always get at, get at A. Get an A. Get an, get an A. a. Okay. Get an A. Very nice. Nice job. Thank you. Okay. Maria Susana, let's continue with other Thank person you. in three seconds. Yeah, I think that there is no time. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're about to finish.
why is this thing re saying recording in progress, recording in progress? And it doesn't remind me that I'm in mute. Meeting in progress, she said. <laughs> Okay, I heard a couple of you practicing and you did an excellent job with intonation. Uh, so is there anything that you would like to add? I know that this is a very easy topic. We studied the simple past in the previous module, but do you have any specific question or something that you feel is difficult when we are um, studying the simple past and practicing it? After this, we're going to move, I think, to the present perfect. So if you have any question, this is the time for asking. No questions, teacher. No questions? Okay, so we may continue. Yes, please. Okay, uh, uh, this is where we stop. Now, we have another video. It's the, in this section, we are going to watch this video about the simple past. I remember that this is going to be like a review. And if you need more practice in this, you can tell me. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Make sure sound and play the video. And she went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. In this session, simple past questions and answers will be introduced. Irregular and regular verbs will also be taught. Welcome back. So now it's time to study past tense. For us to succeed learning it, we need to learn verbs in simple past. We'll teach you how to make questions and how to answer in both affirmative and negative form. Please pay attention. Simple past. Did you work on Saturday? Yes, I did. I worked all day. No, I didn't. I didn't work at all. Did you go anywhere last weekend? Yes, I did. I went to the movies. No, I didn't. I didn't go anywhere. What did Rick do on Saturday? He stayed home and studied for a test. How did Meg spend her weekend? She went to a karaoke bar and sang with some friends. Let's talk about questions in Simple Past. Did you realize the auxiliary we used? Did. We use auxiliary did for questions and short answers, positive and negative. Did you realize what happened to the question after we used did? See the next example. Did you go to the beach? Did he break the window? In each question, the verb is used in simple present because we use did. It is not correct to say, did you went to the beach? Did he broke the window? So remember, every time you ask a question in simple past, you need to use the auxiliary did, and the main verb goes back to present. For short answers in affirmative and negative in simple past, we must use did within the answer as we saw on the chart. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. This takes us to say that we use verbs in simple past when we say affirmative sentences. Take a look at the following statements. They went to the park last weekend. I woke up late this morning. She came late to class. I suggest for you to study and learn verbs in simple past for you to express past activities and experiences. Okay, that's it. Do you have any questions? No questions? No, yes, please. No questions. Okay, so we may continue. Uh, remember that there are two kinds of questions. Not only in simple past, but in all the tenses, we have the yes, no questions, and the um, informative questions, or they are also called information questions or WH questions. At the end, it's the same. 
Just remember the structure for each of them. If we are going to ask a yes no question in simple past, we place the auxiliary did first, then the subject, then the bird in base form. Okay. Finally, the complement. For example, did Tom visit you last week? So you say the auxiliary did, subject is Tom, the verb in base form, visit, the complement, this view last week, right? Informative questions is basically the same thing, but the difference is that we had uh, to add a WH word at the beginning. So we got the WH word, auxiliary did, subject, verb in base form, and then complement. Where did you run last year? WH word, word, auxiliary did, subject, you, verb in base form, run, and complement, last year. Okay. Um, questions here. If there are no questions, I'm going to move to the sure. next exercise. Yes? I have a question to you. Um, why don't write visit with uh, with S at uh, the final? Why not? Uh, because, well, that is used in simple present. Eso se hace en el simple present, que se agrega S al final del verbo, me dice. Yes. Okay, eso sucede en presente simple únicamente cuando estamos haciendo oraciones afirmativas. Ah, okay. Pero igual en pregunta no se usa la S en el verbo cuando estamos yes. hablando en una tercera persona singular porque usamos no. el auxiliar eh, eh, das en that case. Uh -huh. okay. Pero sí, eso solo se hace en el presente simple. Por eso este tema es mucho más fácil. Porque el mismo auxiliar did es para todas las personas, ¿verdad? Okay. Y en presente tenemos do y das y tenemos que ir viendo si es tercera persona singular para ver cuál uso y conjugando verbos y todo eso. Nos olvidamos aquí es did para todas las personas y nos olvidamos de poner la S al verbo y, y eso es en, en simple present, third person singular. Thank you very much. Very good. Good question. Uh, is there any other any other question? Any no more questions? Okay, so I'm going to give you time for you to write at least three, at least three questions in simple past, and then you're going to ask those questions to your classmates. Um, for example, let's see, I'm going to ask one question. Uh, Arely, did you visit your, did you visit your family this weekend? Arely? Yes. Did you visit your family the last weekend? Yes, I did. Okay, excellent. So she, she said, yes, I did. Um, what are two things that you didn't do the last weekend? Mm, I didn't work. Also, mm, I didn't wash the dishes. Okay, can you mention two things that you did this weekend? Uh, okay, I did this. Uh, I have to use this, right? I, I have to continue using it, right? No. No. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> sorry. No, uh, thank okay. you. That, that's fine. That's fine. It is okay. because we are not used to speaking past. That's why it's important. Eh, es okay. importante. Eh, y esta es la parte donde quería llegar. Gracias, Arely. Eh, como no estamos a muy, eh, no practicamos mucho el simple past, a veces se nos hace un poquito difícil. 
eh, lo que dijo Arely cuando estamos haciendo oraciones afirmativas, eh, en simple past tenemos que ir conjugando el verbo. No siempre vamos a poner el did a menos que el did sea el, el verbo de la oración. Eh, permítanme, voy a compartir la pantalla. Les voy a contar, vean. No, no les cuento, me da pena. No, sí les cuento. Vaya, la primera vez que apliqué para un call center, ni quería, fíjense. Habían llegado a la academia a reclutar gente, ¿verdad? Y me hicieron una pregunta que tenía que responder en pasado. Y se me olvidó conjugar el verbo, vea. Entonces me hicieron muchas gracias, pruebe dentro de dos meses otra vez. Oh <ríe> y eso es porque sucede bien frecuente, como casi no practicamos el simple past. Eh, sí, no lo conjugué, el verbo. <ríe> Entonces ahí fue que fracasé. Todavía estaba estudiando inglés. Pero <ríe> yeah, important. Uh, Uh, con el simple past eh, teníamos el simple past. Si estamos haciendo oraciones afirmativas, sí, tenemos que ir conjugando el verbo. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, eh, ¿qué hice este fin de semana? Ay, lavé toda mi ropa. I washed my clothes. Ok, I washed my clothes. Este es el verbo que voy a utilizar, lavar la ropa. Ahora, si digo, eh, hice, hice mis tareas, ustedes estuvieron trabajando, hicieron su homework, ahí sí voy a usar did. I did my homework. Ok, en este caso, sí, solamente cuando sea el verbo de la oración. Y es por eso, porque el did tiene las dos funciones. Funciona como verbo y funciona como auxiliar. Como auxiliar lo voy a utilizar en preguntas y en oraciones negativas. Ahí sí siempre lo voy a utilizar. Ok, si hago una pregunta, una yes, no question, eh, le quiero preguntar, uh, did you... Uh, Ah, ¿usaste tu mascarilla el fin de semana? Did you wear your mask? Okay, did you? Ah, uh, me lo escribí todo al revés. Did you wear? Ok, aquí estoy hablándome del did. Aquí solo es auxiliar. ¿Cuál es el verbo? Este. Did you wear? Did you wear your mask in the weekend? Ok, so aquí no significa nada. Cuando lo utilizo como auxiliar, no tiene un significado. Eh, como auxiliar es un verbo que nada más me ayuda. ¿A qué me ayuda? A indicar el tiempo en el que estoy hablando. Como ya el auxiliar indica tiempo, indica pasado. Entonces el verbo lo dejo así tal cual en su forma simple, en presente. No lo conjugo. Pero si yo digo, eh, no, I didn't, right? Por ejemplo, vaya, mi respuesta va a llegar hasta aquí. No, I didn't. Oh, no, I did not. Sí, es más. Pero aquí pongo un punto. Aquí termino mi respuesta corta y ahora le voy a hacer una oración afirmativa. Digo, la olvidé en la casa. Entonces, esta oración hay, forgot mm -hmm. it at home. Aquí sí. ¿Por qué? Porque aquí no tengo ningún auxiliar que me indique el tiempo. Entonces, yo lo conjugo el verbo en pasado. I forgot it at home. Ok. So, cuando estoy haciendo oraciones afirmativas, tengo que ir conjugando el verbo a pasado, solo en afirmativo. Okay? Y no siempre voy a usar did, a menos que el verbo de mi oración sea hacer. No sé si tienen preguntas. Veo a Roberto de Paul que ha levantado la mano. Yes, teacher, I have a question. Cuando le pone el did, es para hacer una pregunta. 
cuando es antes. Así como preguntó de lo de la mascarilla. Uh -huh. Sí, sí para hacer mascarilla. una yes no question va primero el did. Uh -huh. Por ejemplo, si sí, una okay. yes no question. Um, vaya. For example, did you take a shower? Uh, yes. Vaya, la que hizo Paul. Did you take a shower? Okay, esa es una yes, no question. Did you take a shower? Okay, entonces pongo el auxiliar did primero. Luego sujeto, luego el, el verbo sin conjugarlo porque ya tenemos el auxiliar. Did you take a shower? Ahora, si yo quiero hacer una um, information question, aquí usted me puede decir, yes, I did. Oh, no, I didn't. Y dejarlo hasta ahí. Ahora yo quiero saber, ¿y por qué se bañó? Si nunca se baña, ¿verdad? Entonces le pregunto, why? Why did you take a shower? Me parece extraño. Why did you take a shower? Entonces, take a shower. va a hacer lo mismo. Solo le va a poner la WH word al principio. Dependiendo del caso. Why did you take a shower? Vaya, y aquí eh, ya no puedo contestar yes o no, ¿verdad? Aquí sí ya tengo que dar más información. Pero si se fijan en la estructura, aquí dice, did you take a shower? Y aquí dice lo mismo, solo que antes hay una WH word. ¿Verdad? Ya no puede responderme sí o no. Ya me tiene no. que decir por qué. Ah, porque tenía una cita. Entonces me dice, because. Because I don't like teacher. Because I had. <risa> ahí sí conjugo el verbo. Because I had a date. Okay. Because I had a date. Teacher. Yes. Y allí en, en, en este tiempo, cuando estamos hablando en tercera persona, ya no usamos el S. No, eso Ajá. solo sucede en el presente simple. Este ya es el tiempo pasado simple. Uh -huh. Ah, ok, ahí ya no, ya no, no se transforma en verbo. Ya no se transforma okay. y el único auxiliar que usamos es did en preguntas. Y didn't en oraciones negativas. Ahí ya nos olvidamos de que si es tercera persona, si es segunda, si voy a cambiar, no. Es did para todas. Did y didn't. Ok. Y si, y si, si me lo han explicado. Es mucho más si, fácil. Sí. Um, veo sí, que sure. dos. Yes. Uh, may I, uh, why did you take a shower? Because I was very hot. Porque tenía mucho calor. Is that, is that correct to say I was very hot? Yes, that's correct. Ah, okay. Thank Or you, you can refer to the weather too. Si se refiere al clima, solo cambia el I por el it. Uh, Oscar, you have a oh. question? Yeah, este, tenemos a information question and we use WH. Okay. La, y la otra pregunta que dice que, por ejemplo, que estamos haciendo es, did you, lo que sea, ¿verdad? Esas son preguntas. ¿Cómo tienen? Esas se llaman yes no questions porque puede dar una respuesta corta. Repeat. Uh, those are called. Esas se llaman yes no questions. Ah, ya. Ajá. Ya. Es un son. Me puede dar yes, una no. respuesta corta. Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. Thank you. All uh, right. Excellent. Yes. Uh, I have, uh, yo hice una bien larga. Dice, did your mother live in the same house with you before she traveled to the USA last year? Y ella le contesta, no, she didn't. She lived alone. Mm -hmm. That's excellent. Okay. It's well done. Thank you. Okay. Any other question before we proceed? No, no more questions. Mami, necesito. Mami. Okay. Um, what did you eat 
let's see. Uh, Melida, Rebecca, I have never asked you. <laughs> Are you there, Melida? Melida. Uh, yes. Yes. Okay. What did you eat? I'm here. What did you eat on Saturday lunch? Mm. I. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> okay, in that case, you can invent. <laughs> I don't Me remember time. either, but I, I could invent. <laughs> <laughs> I ate chicken. All right. Oh, Excellent. I ate chicken. Okay. So thank you so much. Excellent job. I'll give it time for you to write thank at you. least. Um, Le voy a dar tiempo, cinco minutos, para que escriban al menos tres preguntas. No, quizás es mucho, cuatro minutos. Al menos tres preguntas. If that can be yes, no questions or WH questions for your classmates. I have done it before, teacher. Write questions in simple pass. In simple pass. Finish. One minute left. Only question or answer? You ask your question to one of your classmates. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay, a volunteer? Me. I, I hear me, who is me? Elizabeth. Okay, uh, Elizabeth. My question is, 
Did you make work of yesterday? Did you? Did you make work out yesterday? Okay, did you work out yesterday? Yes, I did. For whom is your question? For Paul? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay, thank you so much. Good job. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you, Roberto. Um, any other volunteer? May I? Me, Araceli. Okay, Araceli, ask your question to one of your classmates. Okay, to Oscar Romero, when did you celebrate your birthday? When? Celebrate what? When did, when you? did you celebrate your birthday? Birthday. Oh, very good. <laughs> oh, you know. Uh, okay. Um, my birthday, uh, um, I celebrate. I celebrate I or celebrate. I celebrated. I celebrated? Yes. Um, okay. I celebrated, celebrated my birthday on, on Las Brumas. Uh, At Las Brumas? At Las Brumas. Uh-huh. Okay. When? When? Cuando? Oh, when? Oh, when? Um, uh, Saturday. 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 18th? No, no. Uh, Thursday. No. Uh, Monday. Monday. Thursday. Martes? Martes, I don't know. Tuesday. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't practice. Uh, okay. Uh, is uh, Saturday 18, yes? No, Tuesday, Tuesday. 18. Tuesday 18, oh, of May. What month? Yes, yes, last week. Ah, last, last week. Congratulations. Congratulations, oh, man. I'm surprised <laughs> uh, <laughs> your, your question. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great. Any other volunteer? Me too. Teacher. Adrian, okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, did you watch in television every day? Uh, repeat. Did you, watch, did you watch television every day? For whom? Uh, for no, whom is your I question? Didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, Evelyn, you answer. No, she didn't. Okay, very good. Um, would you like to ask a question to your classmates? Um, or you pass? <laughs> pass. <laughs> or you pass. <laughs> okay. Um, another volunteer? Me teacher. Me teacher. Evelyn Cubillas. And then Joaquin. <laughs> Eh, para, para Evelyn Mariela. Eh, what did you do yesterday in the morning? Really good. I went to the supermarket. Okay. Excellent. Thank you. Uh, Joaquin. Yes. Did you go to the movies uh, last night? Did you go to the movies last night? For whom is your question? Um, Roberto. No, I didn't. Okay. Perfect. Okay, very good. Like Another one? Ask right now? <laughs> Is there any other volunteer? Okay. Okay, Oscar. Uh, me, um, Areli Guevara. Areli, my question is, uh, where did you go the last weekend? Where did you go the last weekend? I went to Los Planes de Renderos with all my family. 
Okay, that's good. Some grapes. What did you eat? Um, I, I, I didn't eat anything. I just drank some atol, atol de elote. Atol. Okay, 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 okay Arely. That's good, that's good. Thanks. Awesome. Okay. Any other volunteer? Okay, I'm going to check attendance and then you decide if you want to continue practicing the speaking. That's a good practice. Um, and let me see where it says document. Here it is. Remember to practice and to complete the exercise in the platform. Teacher. Yes? Do you check, do you pass a list? Right now, <laughs> that's what okay. I'm going to do. Um, Adriana Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Ana Yancy Orellana. Ana Yancy Orellana. Ana Yancy. It's not here. All right. Candida Janet. Present. Cecilia Elizabeth. I'm here. Claudia Patricia. I am here, teacher. Diego Arturo. Present, teacher. Evelyn Elizabeth. Present. Evelyn Liliana. Present. Evelyn Mariela. Present. Ismael Eliseo. I'm here. Jerry Alejandro. Present teacher. Joana Celina. Joana Celina. Joaquín Ruperto. Present. Jonathan Isaac. I'm here. Jorge Alberto. Jorge Alberto, I think he's not here. All right, Jose Manuel. Judith El Carmen. Present. Okay. Uh, Judith El Carmen, Liliana Margarita. Present teacher. Maria Susana. Present teacher. Marjorie Vanessa. Marjorie Vanessa. Present teacher. Melida Rebecca. Present teacher. Natalie Imperatriz. Present. Oscar René. I'm here, teacher. Daniel Arely. Here. Roberto Adonai. Present. Roberto Carlos. Romulo Edgardo. I'm here. Sandra Araceli. Present, teacher. Stephanie Roxana. Present, teacher. And uh, Jessica Arely. Present, Miss. Great, excellent. So let's see. Uh, yes, almost a prepared here. Remember that this is the second week of, of classes. So for this week, I hope that we're going to finish section number two and three. And we have to develop, tienen que haber desarrollado la sección uno, dos, tres. Y el midterm exam. Tiene que estar todo eso terminado eh, a más tardar para el jueves para que no vayan a tener inconvenientes. Ok. Teacher. Now, yes. Sí, nos han dado hasta el miércoles para ir a traer el diploma. Y si no puedo el miércoles. 
puede ir después, nada más que sí avíseles con tiempo porque como los archivan a veces, entonces tienen que buscarlo, entonces avíseles con tiempo cuando llegaría. Gracias. Ok. Uh, any other question before we finish? Sí, una, 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 pre una pregunta, perdón, perdón, colegas, compañeros, solo que eh, no sé si puedo compartirle esta pantalla para, para mostrarle. Ok, rapidito. Fíjense que acá hay una ahorita, aquí. Vamos a ver si se puede. Ahí estamos. Eh, hay un detalle que dice Section 1 eh, y aquí están How After Do You Exercise, que es el tema. Ok, sí, pero hay una, hay como tres actividades, pero esta actividad última, no sé qué, qué, qué es. Hay dos eh, actividades que están bien pero claramente. Pero dice que no tiene calificación. Cuando uno lo desarrolla dice que no tiene calificación. ¿Cuándo qué? Ah, cuando uno lo desarrolla eh, dice en la parte del ejercicio que no tiene calificación arriba. Creo que es lo que sumaban los puntos. Ajá, lo del, lo del, del lo de, de, ejercicio lo del de la fit. comida. Ajá, ajá. ¿Qué tan la, como eres? la puntuación. Ajá, entonces ajá. ahí arriba pregunta... dice. O sea, arriba no, no dice que no. Ajá. No. Voy a quedar así y no hay problema. Ya, yeah, no problema. Listo. Ah. Nomás más estaba preocupado porque decía 00 y entonces... Pero no, 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 no hay problema. De todos modos, si ve la barrita roja hasta hasta el tope y está al 100%, entonces eso es lo que importa. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok, so, um, any other question? Okay. I have a question. No more question. Yes, Roberto. No. It is possible to make uh, this sentence. Uh, how good how good did you play tennis last match? Yes, it's excellent. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. So uh, tomorrow we will continue practicing this topic and uh, please do not miss classes this uh, week. I hope that we're going to cover two sections and then you have to cover the midterm exam as well. Okay, so thank you for joining us today uh, and see you tomorrow. Sleep well. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 B